Hello, okay, so I'm just going to show you the best aspect ratios and dimensions for when you're exporting videos to social media. Okay, first of all, let's start with Instagram because that's probably the one that most people are uploading to. So the best aspect ratio for that, if your video is under a minute, is going to be 1080 by 1350. So to change that in DaVinci Resolve, you go to File, Project Settings, and here you will type in 1080. And on this one, you will type in 1350. And there you go. That's the best size because that's going to take up more space in the feed when people are scrolling, meaning that there's more chance that your content is going to catch their eye. Just quickly, when you've got this, you're going to want to resize your video so it fits it all. Again, in DaVinci Resolve, you'd click on Inspector and you just zoom in and then adjust the position to where you want, like that. Let's say that you actually like your video being a 16 by nine and you don't want to zoom in and adjust it. You can still use this size in your feed. So the way I would do it now is just copy your video file on top of itself. In DaVinci Resolve, you would do that by pressing Alt and Shift, clicking down and dragging it up. Then you make the bottom layer bigger, change the opacity down to maybe about 70, 60, and then, last step, you would add a Gaussian Blur. So you go to Effects Library, go to Open Effects, Gaussian Blur, and let's go to Effects over here, and then just make that a bit stronger, and that looks better already. Now one more thing you can do, just to make it stand out a bit more, is find Drop Shadow on whatever software you're using, drag that on top, now, you're going to want to just play around with it a little bit. So you've got the drop shadow on the bottom. And depending on what software you're using, you might need to make another one for the top. So you just do the exact opposite angle. And there you go. Now that is perfect for Instagram size. So once you've got that ready, you just go to deliver, name the file, whatever you want. I'm just going to call it YouTube, browser location, add to render queue and render. And your video is ready for social media. Okay, so like I said, there is a few other dimensions that you can use. Now for Instagram, if your video is going to be over a minute, then you're gonna want it to be 1080 by 1920, so it can go on Instagram TV, which, and to do that, you would again go to File, Project Settings, 1080 by 1920. There you go, stretched out a little bit. So the thing about using this is when people are watching the video on your feed, they're going to only see this section. And when they open it up, they're going to see the whole thing. So they're going to have two different looks. So you want to make sure that none of your vital information like titles, subtitles is in either of these black bars, because that means they're not going to see it when it's in your feed. So once you've got it set up, you can either leave the black space or you can mess around and fill it in. And now that's ready for Instagram TV. Now for Facebook, it depends where your viewers are mainly going to be seeing your ads or your content from. For mobile phone, I still think that 1080 by 1350, like we did for Instagram, is the best. But when they see that size on a desktop, it can cause different issues depending what resolution their desktop is. And it can make it so that it just comes with these weird bars at the side. So if you want to play it safe, you can just do 1080 by 1080, which displays well across all platforms. And that one would be File, Project Settings, 1080 by 1080. Now for 1080 by 1080, I wouldn't have the background one because you're not zooming in that much. So you can usually fit all your content on pretty well. So 1080 by 1080 is probably a better size when you're running ads so that you can have text underneath it and a link. But 1080 by 1350, I think is just better for spamming out content to everyone. And the last one, LinkedIn. I still personally for LinkedIn, I prefer just going with the standard 1920 by 1080 because LinkedIn's a more professional looking place. And I think that this one just looks nicer, less spammy, and people are more likely to watch your videos on there because it's a more serious place. Okay, thank you. I hope that helped.